All right, so welcome back to the Water Resources and Environmental Engineering Review. Today we're gonna to be looking at water distribution systems and I have a few practice problems for you all. And um, if you didn't check out some of the previous videos for uh, water resources um, and water engineering, um, then you can check those videos out. We've, we're currently on uh, part D, but um, in the previous videos, we went through um, your basic hydrology, your basic, basic hydraulics, we went through pumps, and now we're currently on water distribution systems. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, number one says calculate the head loss in a 300 meter length of pipe with a diameter 200 millimeters given a flow rate of 0 0.02 meters cubed per second and a Darcy wide OAS back friction factor of 0 0.025. Okay. So what information are we given to start? Well, we are definitely given a lot of information. So we got length and diameter of the pipe. Okay. We also have a uh, friction factor. Which is the Darcy Weisbach friction factor. And then we are given a flow rate. And they want us to find the head loss. I'm assuming due to flow. So I don't know what this uh, Darcy whatever, but I'm assuming it needs, it's, it's important. So I'm going to go to Darcy. I'm afraid if I try to spell that, let's just look up Darcy. Let's start. Hit loss due to flow. I feel like we saw a similar problem in one of the previous examples. But um, let's check out the information that we're given. So we are given Darcy or Stanton friction factor. We have that, which is F. Do we have L? We're given the length, 300 meters. Diameter, which is D. We're given, we're not given V. And we're given, or we know what G is, which is 9.81 meters per second or gravity, right? Um, so how do we get, so it looks like we don't have H of F and we don't have V. Can we get V? Well, I know we have Q and we have the cross-sectional area, A. So there's a formula that's pretty important. Where if you're looking at a one dimensional flow, um, Q is equal to, or volumetric flow rate is equal to uh, A, cross-sectional area of flow. So if I have this, If I have this pipe, all right, and there is flow coming up the pipe, down the pipe, wherever through the pipe, then uh, A is the cross sectional area of this circle here. 
Um, and so we're given that diameter, right? That diameter is equal to 200 millimeters. So how do we get A, a circle, right, or that cross-sectional area? Um, we would just say, uh, so we'll write out top Q is equal to A times V. We have Q So Q is equal to zero point zero two meters cubed per second. A is equal to well what's the area of a circle? Pi R squared. And we want to keep everything in meters. So what is R? R is equal to uh diameter divided by two, right? 200 millimeters at about two equals 100 millimeters or 0 0.1 meters all right so a is equal to uh pi times 0 0.1 square which equals to 0 0.0314 meters squared. Okay. So we now have A and we have Q. All right. So how do we get V? Well, Q is equal to A times V. Q is 0. 0 0.02 meters cubed per second, which is equal to 0. Point, so it's equal to A, which is 0 0.0013 meters squared. Where am I getting that number from? Here. and then times V, All right? So when you divide both sides, you get V to equal 0 0.636 meters per second. Okay, so we have V. All right, so let's go back to our, so Here we can erase and say we know what V is, all right? So H of F, which is head loss. It's the only thing we don't know, all right? Let's see if we can get back to that equation of head loss due to flow. Yep, it's the Darcy Y is back equation. So we'll, we'll write it out and we will get our answer, so. So HF is equal to, what's the first component? F, what is F? F is going to be equal to the friction factor or 0 0.025, okay, times 300 meters. Why did I say 300 meters? Well, that's the length of the pipe, L over D, what is D? It's 200 millimeters, but we want everything in to be in meters, so uh, it would be 0 0.2 meters, right? Times, I know that I got V squared, so what's V? Well, it's 0 0.636 meters per second. We want to square that and then divide it by should be two times 9.81 meters per second squared. 
All right, and we when we total all that up, we get hit loss due to flow is equal to 0 0.77 meters or A. Hey everybody. I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning, so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough. And as you're going through material, you may be saying, Ugh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing. Or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months, and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories. Um, I am looking to work with individuals one on one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times. Um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this. I got it all on my own. I know everything or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything. I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're know you not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one, and there's also some do-it-yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and 
and looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video.